Hey guys, I get this question all the time about what constitutes enough to give the police officer the ability to check somebody for weapons, like a pad frisk or a terry frisk or a weapons frisk. And the answer is found in your state's case law. Now, more recently, I was asked this question about what constitutes furtive movements. And that's a good question because I hate that word furtive movements. It's used a lot in police reports and it's very vague and courts don't like when you use furtive movements. My suggestion is whatever you see going on, maybe you're stopping a car, describe the action. So instead of saying, as I stopped the car, furtive movements began. The front seat passenger was making furtive movements. And I had him outside of the car on the side of the road, they were making furtive movements. No, don't say that. Say, I saw their head go down low, their shoulder dip. It looked like they were reaching under the seat. I couldn't see their hands. Describe exactly what happens and please get away from using this furtive movements quote. It's not good. I get it. It's found in case law. It's found in police reports, but it's inherently too vague. And you don't want to set yourself up for a failure in a situation where you could have saved the case by merely spending the time to describe what you actually saw.